Welcome fellow folders to a brand new video and it is all about the shaping secrets the continuation of that series I can't remember which one we are on at the moment I can't remember which one I last did or when it was but anyway I will figure that out so in this shaping secrets video we are going to look at something that I, that I have been recently using to help shape models and it is really good in situations that somewhat re require glue but you don't you wouldn't wish to glue in those places so it's basically using something that you would want to use glue but it could be seen you may want to reposition it you may want to change it later on in time but you could not if you used glue but with what I'm going to show you you can and it works just as well and it is near invisible so we have two examples here uh, this one has the, the item being used in it, this one does not. I will show you how I use it in this one in a moment. So let's take this out of the frame and we are just going to look at this. So this has where's the, uh, the item that I will show you in a second within the model and three, four different spots. So it's got uh, invisible threads, um, it's hard to see that, but anyway, the thread is attached on the inside layers on both the tops of the wings and between the legs. Now just say that when I was shaping this, I was thinking, okay, I need to attach invisible wire to the top of these parts, but I don't want to glue it simply because it may come over time that I want to reposition it, I may want to change it. If I glue this in place, I'm going to have a glue mark in here, which won't be seen, which is okay, but I'm still going to have a glue mark. Um, it may be that the thread is completely stuck, it won't come out. I would need to try and cut it right here, and then that could leave a tiny part that could be seen, but it is very unnoticeable if it was. So I had to try and think of a different solution to this problem and what I have done with what I did also here as well because I didn't want to use wire to put inside the legs because it can uh, when you curve the wire it can press against the outside or the inside and it can leave marks also there's no great access point to get within the legs because it's all sort of enclosed so that um, I had to think of how to keep the legs closed so let me show you as an example when I where is it, have this in position the legs would just split 180 they would, they would just instead of staying like that they would just go like that and it did not look nice so I had to try and think of something that I could do to hold them in place while it is hanging, which it does its job. So, what we have is, let me put this to the side, we have something called glue dots. Um, I think you can buy these in most stores, maybe Amazon. I've, I've had them for a while, I don't remember where I got them, so definitely check online. Uh, glue dots, removable sticky dots, instant fixing, and repositional witches very crucial. Now like glue, and it doesn't instantly fix, it takes time to dry and then you don't know whether or not you've glued enough or too much until it's, it's dry and then when it's dry you can't fix it, you can't remove it and you have. So you need to be sure that you are gluing the right amount and it is not repositional. This is but the glue, I'm talking about the glue. The glue is not repositionable so you need to make sure that you know what you're doing when you glue. And this could also be a good um, starter item for experience, uh, for testing out shaping or gluing. If you have some layers that you're not sure whether to glue or not, add one of these between them and then that will show you the results. But it's easy enough to just hold the layers together. So they look like 
So many glue dots, lots of them, you get lots of them in the packets and it's a really good size one. But you can cut them up as well, you don't need to use the full amount. For what I did on the wings is I just cut one in half. I, no, I can't remember. Either a half one or a full one, maybe a full one. And then I had... There's a little example. So just say this is... So just say this is the invisible wire. I have the, the glue dot here. I put it in between it and then stuck it around. So the wire, the glue dot and all around it is sticky and then you just insert it in the layer, close it, press the layers and then it's firmly in place and it's easy enough to open up and uh, reposition. So we have two parts under here, really easy to see, it's everywhere. I had to wrap it all up nice and neatly so I can find a spot to put it in. I'm using the big lens so I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. But we have a piece under these layers and a piece under this uh, layer as well. And I, I did not want to glue it in case I got it wrong. So it's always easy enough to take it out, reposition um, however I please. And the same within the wings. I opened up. Opened up the layers, put in the glue dot. I did what I did with the, the invisible wire stuck the glue dot around it and then just forced it on and it has held ever since. So let's put this to the side and look at the elephant. Now when I made this elephant over time after I uh, shaped it and just left it where it was on display it would naturally at the front the legs would slightly spread out. So ever since then I, I have just kept a peg holding these two layers together. I wouldn't wish to glue this part simply because it is quite vital in getting into the body to add more cotton wool to take cotton wool out. And of course if I wanted to make the body more puffier I can do that. But now we are going to add one of the glue dots. Does. So we just take this off. Normally I will press this against the paper and then peel off the other side of the plastic. So if I try and touch it then now it will most likely stick to my hands. So find a spot to put it on. See that's okay. I'm going to tap the screen to put the focus point. So it's in here, and I'm just going to peel off the other bit of the plastic. I need to press it against the first. Just like that. And turn off the focus cancel. So just like that, the glue dot has came off. And wait, I think that another one as well on top. Not for that, I think one's enough. So it is. It's hard to see, but it is right in there, and then I'm just going to press it together. Like that. And it is completely stuck, and it is removable as well, if you wish to take it apart and 
just like that. That holds it in place. And it's a part that if you don't glue, so if I wanted to take it out instead or do something different, I have the option of doing that. It's not completely stuck forever. Nothing can be done. So that is the video. Hopefully you learned something new from it. Make sure if you can to get these glue dots. They are a lifesaver, especially with examples I've shown and many opportunities for when you're shaping. They are extremely useful for doing many things. So if you can, make sure to get these glue dots. They will be very handy for when you shape a model. So that is it everyone. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.